My name is Dorcas Akinyol Watch. I'm the chair of LSK Kisumu Chapter. And with me are advocates from uh, Kisumu Chapter, as well as the Council and the Western Human Rights uh, Network. And we have a statement regarding the status of affairs, the sad status of affairs that is uh, going on in the country, and in particular in Kisumu. Esteemed uh, stakeholders, ladies and gentlemen, this afternoon we stand a sudden society whose very mandate of being a legal watchdog has been brought to light atrocities of great proportion that have happened in the last three days within Kisumu County and its surrounding environment. Reports of victims of police brutality have been on a great rise from Wednesday, the 19th of July, 2023. And there have been nationwide uh, protests uh, against over the stifling of economic uh, uh, stifling of economic pinch that the Kenyans are experiencing, brought about by the introduction of the Finance Act, as well as the pre previous inflationary effects. Kenyans took to the street as per their constitutional right to picket and demonstrate in a bid to have their voices heard but the resultant effects were contrary to what they had planned and instead they were met with brute police force. Numerous deaths were reported as a result of police brutality. Many were grievously injured and others were maimed with lifetime injuries. It is sad that there are several persons who are missing as a result of enforced disappearance Others are suffering from uh, bullet injuries, and there's a pattern to these injuries. We are noticing that the injuries are majorly to the groin area for the young men, and for the elderly men, we are noticing that they suffer spine injuries, joint and chest injuries. Previously, it was thought and believed that the bullets fired by the police were stray bullets. But recent, recent events have shown that it is clear that these shootings are well calculated and structured and aimed to weaken the citizenry and frustrate the future of the community. Children are not being spared. We have victims who have been shot. A young man has been shot nine times, majorly in the chest area, by the police. It is now apparent that there are two rules in this country. The rule of law favoring the elite and the rule of force brutal and illegal force used by the police against the indigent in our society who have tried to seek for economic justice in a manner provided by our constitution. Families are now desolate, they are weeping, they have lost their loved ones, and some are maimed. The question that is coming to our minds as a result of these actions that we saw in 2013, in 2017 elections, and now more recently that we are seeing is that history is replicating itself time and time again in a manner that is unrelenting. There were nationwide protests, but the shootings were worse in countries, counties such as Kisumu and Nairobi, and force was hardened against citizens. We have reports that police were breaking into homes in areas of Nyalenda, Nyamasaria, and Kondele, and fetching innocent citizens from their houses and brutalizing them. We are asking that the judiciary, as well as members of uh, Kenyan Human Rights Commission, we are asking uh, the church leaders in the church, we are asking medics, we are asking all Kenyans of goodwill to join us and voice these concerns. The President, His Excellency Daniel, uh, His Excellency William Samuel Ruto, stated clearly that he was against any form of police brutality within the Republic as part of his campaign promise. We, now, we are now saddened to see that the new police force read itself of its own name, but maintained its old characteristics. 
In the recent past, we have had various instances of the police injuring citizens and resulted court processes that we entrusted resulted in various outcomes such as the Pendo case. And we trust and believe that uh, as LSK, we shall pursue the bodies, the police, who are responsible for this maiming, who are responsible for these injuries. And we are asking that the judiciary delivers on its, on its duty to uphold the rule of law. We are asking that the government of Kisumu, uh, the, the governor of Kisumu County, the cap, cabinet secretary of interior, the office of the director of ODPP and the various stakeholders inclusive of non-governmental organizations, first and foremost apprehend all police involved in arbitrary use of force, and secondly, alongside us in the quest for justice for all victims and their families, check up this course of justice. This is a call to all citizens of Kisumu County to approach our offices in order to gain legal aid and assistance on the matters especially arising from police brutality. We affirm our commitment as LSK, Kisumu Chapter, to monitor all events surrounding these incidences with a view to defending the rights of all those affected and upholding the rule of law as part of our core mandate. On behalf of the Law Society of Kenya, Kisumu Chapter, I offer heartfelt condolences to the families and friends of those who live, who's lost their lives and get well wishes to the victims of the said gunshot injuries. Uh, we are also currently in the process of uh, documenting uh, the victims, more so those who are still uh, getting uh, treatment here at JTRH. And so far we have taken statements and information from 20 victims. Three are in critical condition, two are minors, and uh, some are uh, in surgical uh, ward. Uh, one person right now is uh, undergoing surgery, and uh, three are being attended in the outpatient unit. That is all. My name is Isto Cage. I work with Kenya Female Advice Organization and as a member of the Western Kenya Human Rights Network. We're here to show solidarity to our fellow citizens who, because of the right to picket, have suffered um, various atrocities and also within their households under fear of trauma, which then is reminiscent of what we have seen in the post-election violence which we, we witnessed in 2007. So what we're looking at is that it is targeted attack against citizens who are looking at a police service which has turned into a police force. We are actually requesting citizens to be able to speak up, get the issues to the Kenya National Commission on Human Rights and the Law Society of Kenya, who are here to take up all these cases so that then do not be afraid to come out and speak up against what has happened to you within your households, within your businesses, and at different levels. We are urging those who, if you know someone who has suffered any atrocity or has lost any business, kindly speak up so that then we can be able to say that the constitution of Kenya 2010 was not in vain and our rights are protected within this particular framework. And if you know any person who is afraid, there are also various means within the, the constitution which can give you witness protection so that we don't fear. And for all those people who have been injured, and as we say, this is targeted. And it's targeted to dehumanize uh, persons, particular male people within this particular area. So when you're looking at this, this one, uh, for me, it's frames within the crimes against humanity, where it is a particular ways to emasculate certain people within our community, particularly the men within our societies. Even where victims were being beaten in front of their children, and their children are talking about it, and it's captured on TV. So all those kind of things is what we're talking about that we will not relent we will not stop and as citizens we are here to protect our rights and protect ourselves against um, all these atrocities we are happening to us so for all citizens out there aluta continue we will not stop thank you eru kamano um yuthuru wakawono wangi wak maduong uh nyinga and david otieno and wakili dalama kisumoka uh, kina na chiel kum jogo mari rukmalo society matiyo ikisumoka wangi kuyo mangeni wangi yuagro mangeni nikech wa uh, kumawanti ni waneno jawa jo jo kisumoka manyo wokoko mondo otimgi makateba o yenegi mondo getim 
to gi romo gi police matiyo gi bunde matiyo nyaka gi pala gi weapons mopogore opogore mohinyo jothurwa mang'eny kendo ji nigi rem gi lit mang'eny wan kaka okinde makisumoka wasewuok oko ni mondo wakony jowa jogo mok nya, maonge duol mok nyal wuoyo jogo maonge yo maginyalo luwogo haki margi e court mondo wakonygi gi yud haki margi to sama watimo ma wakwayo bende jogo, jogo moko machalo kaka dakteche an gi geno ni jo Kenya Medical Association nigi jogo moko kisumuka kata riwruok magi kisumuka ni ayo subtal ka nitire joma norwa ka tich adek moko nigi lisasi dent gi mapoko yudo thieth koro wakwayo ni uh, ubika une jogi ukonygi umak badgi mondo mi um, ginge ni uh, joma nigi right joma nigi joma tiyo gi, gi chik marach mondo mi ni chik nitie wabro luwo gigi mana kaka joma telo na bose wacho higa mara lufariyo ga birio ga boro higa mara lufariyo ga par ga dek higa mara lufariyo ga par ga birio yu sa hinyore mangeni to wangi to wawacho ni wadu waluo oksiri kal kende to nyaka jogo mana timo tima chalo kama mondo ginge ni sami timo gimoro kitiyo gi sila mumi mondo iwuth girit gojo penye marach to ken siri kal kende ema brutingo osigono in bere nyakitingo sigo kaka ini won mwende kinge ni chikini tie to wakwayo siri kal kane kere oru waki manyucha ochamo muma mwende hotel ne penye to no wacho nubro rito katiba to katiba kanyo jinigi haki maru yuagore kagingi gimoro machandogi to kadano yuagore to timgi mawaneno kotimi yekani kuru wakwayo mwende jopinyi duto ogotiendu wa loo ori walwedo mwendo miwako njogi kika gima kama chakti mrekendo iru kamano ani luanga ni ista chengo KHI vigao mok marusirikal mi luanga ni Kenya Female Advisory Organization toka wono wan kaya giri urok marlo society of Kenya toka endo wan giri urok marlo western Kenya human rights network elo migape mantire kaya giwa wacho ni wanda ndoka giku moko kutim rek kaka negotim kaka chik ma constitution of Kenya 2010 no wacho wanda ndoka hinyu doku mawenye majok mando wuka wuka mando gi gold wand gi mando gi loss ni kuma hinyo gi kaka katiba no wacho ninyan lulu uloso ya dongeri lunga ni right to picket to saliti gi sinyo kinyalu wuk to nawakado katiba kwa mor malichi to wanda ndoka joku moko o hinyu joku moko gobu nde kunde mu pogro pogre joku moko o gogi rungu joku moko padi ya kagipanga gi joku mwende gobed ni gine police service mage report mwa yudo kwa ruwa kwa yo jotelo mwende uwogi mwende okonywa mwende wadogi ya kumano ae ni kechiki rago gi kumano timregi gigi osi timregi gi serikal mwoko mwoko wanyal doki ya kumano ae mage gi kumi wacho ni kawa doku huno to wadoke kumani wacho ni kuone madara rating manejiyo hinyere manjoku moko lal kata sani joku moko ilal goma po kwa yudo nyaka sani to bago gik machal kamago emba gwa kwede koro wakuwa yo joku mantire oko ni ntire law society of kenya ni ntire kai the kenya national commission on human rights ni ntire kai western kenya human rights gimi kape mo pogro pogre uwa guru ki neno kuma lit ni ntire kumangato diye kumangato hinye kataka kumangato mantire sirkal mago ya kwede ama buwogi ni kikilos duwondi ya kilos amba kwa kiloso ka uwo notibo yunibu hinyi ma duwondi no bolal nyaka chieni to wakuwa wakiso sirkal ni kikibe ni kibe tujo kuma bo hinyo wa Nikibeti joko ma hinyo jopeni, nike kaka joko ba chulo ushuru, pesa mi chulo na nego beni meo angi mama bear, okangi mama kuyo gingu mama late, ero kamano. Pole, mishi picha, ini video, omneza ndelea tuku. Auntie, by the way, an hundred. Okay.
I you are mine watch. It's for mine watch. Oh, mine watch. Eh. Mine konga nine. So don't cast me in Things happened. I know. <laughs> 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 